I'm a director of engineering in fintech and delivery hero. Um, I'm the tribe lead for the wallet tribe. I'm also really, really passionate about diversity in teams, um, diversity in hiring. So I'm also leading the hiring for Central Fintech as well. What I find really interesting and more exciting is like the product that I'm working on, right? I think Fintech is a way to really scale your company and it's also one way to ensure that customers are actually able to pay for their deliveries. Um, and that also includes a lot of challenges that I find really interesting, right? Like how can we make that more scalable? How can we make this as cost effective as possible as well? Yeah, I think like on a personal basis, for me, it's really working with my team, right? So that is the reasons why I'm in this company, why I'm like leading Wallet. It's always great to see like how we are improving our tech, uh, how, we, how we are improving our architecture, but then also to see how the people in my team are growing along the way as well. And that I find really interesting and really exciting. What really makes me standing out or what really makes me unique is my resilience, um, my ownership. And that is also something that I'm looking for in, in my team as well or when I'm hiring, right? So how can we find people who really own their stuff? Um, how can we make sure that in an environment where things might change from time to time that they're able to deal with that as well? And I think that makes people successful. I think the biggest risk I took in my career um, was actually moving from a senior engineering role directly to a senior manager role. So instead of being an individual contributor, I actually had 30 people directly reporting into me. And that was a challenge, that's for sure. Um, but I learned a lot along the way. I made tons of mistakes, but I think that's part of learning, that's part of growing. And everybody who's saying otherwise is lying or has not a really good self-reflection. So I think the, the most recent risk I took in the project was decoupling the wallet services out of the fintech monolith and that took several quarter um, and was quite a complex change because it meant that we were moving business logic out of the monolith into the new services. We are making sure that we are basically migrating the APIs, we are migrating the databases as well. And that also meant we needed to be really structured in terms of how do we roll that out and how do we also are able to roll that back if something is um, not going so well. So the impact of this monolith split is, there are a few things, right? So. For once, it is actually allowing us to be more scalable in some of the countries or like scale different parts of the system. So for example, if we have a very payment heavy country, we can scale the payment part. If we have a very wallet heavy country, we can, we can scale the wallet part. What we always need to ensure is that we have separate bounded contexts. So actually with separating concerns, having separate services for, for payment and wallet ensures that um, we are more scalable. Uh, we have, we are more autonomous as well, and then it's also a lot less complex um, and not easier to scale to.